That's pretty good. All those baby bottles, $5,500. So at each Mass, we have different representatives. Today, a welcome to Rachel's Vineyard at this Mass. Um, speaking of baby bottles, this week we got a birthday for our new addition. And I'm announcing at all the Masses this week that we will have the ribbon cutting, the cornerstone laying, and the official ceremony on Friday, March 8th. Um, so more on that to come, but it will be a very joyful day. It's exactly 10 months since we broke ground. That was on March 8th, excuse me, May 8th, and now on March 8th, we will have the ribbon cutting. It's also nine days before our parish feast day of St. Patrick. So it will begin a novena as we remember our great uh, father, uh, Father St. Patrick of Ireland. More information on that to come. Um, because we're not waiting three months for the baptism, the baby will be born on March 8th, and then it will be baptized the next week. Um, so on Saturday, March 16th, we will welcome uh, Auxiliary Bishop John McIntyre to us, and he will bless our new space that will be used. More to come. From a financial standpoint, it was two just over two months ago, November 19, that I stood up here and I took a play out of the Eagles playbook. I announced the St. Patrick Brotherly Shove. You might remember this. I think you can get this at the Dollar Tree if you'd like it. It says brotherly shove if you don't see it. At the time, Eagles were 8-1, and one, hoping for the Super Bowl. We were $300,000 short of our goal. But we had just been gifted with 150000 and I thought a tush push would do it. Well, a lot has changed since then. The Eagles aren't pushing their tushes anymore. They ended 11 and seven. But St. Patrick had a very different story. And come March 8th, we will not only be in the new building, but a building that is totally paid for. Thank you. It was nine months ago today, on May 4th, that I signed that total. I had never done that before. I signed a contract for $1.966 million. And while we had some of that money, we didn't have it all. But today, we not only are able to pay that bill, but even some of the unexpected change orders that occurred when you do a $2 million project will be paid for. Today, I just want to thank you once again, give you that update. It's a story not just of generosity, but it's a story of love that you have for this parish. It's a story of God's providence and his love for us. And in the coming weeks, I can't wait to tell more of that story and to share it with you. More to come, but March 8th, March 16th, and then a glorious parish feast of St. Patrick.